the sounds of a speeding influencer driving by in his muscle car, intent on creating as much noise as possible, keep the people of downtown Seattle awake night after night. Miles Hudson, a 20-year-old influencer with a speed addiction, is the one suspected of being responsible. With almost 800,000 Instagram followers who like watching him rev his Dodge Charger Hellcat and then tear through downtown Seattle at speeds of up to and beyond 100 miles per hour, Hudson is quickly becoming a victim of his own popularity. Hudson's style is unmistakably bold. He dresses in flaming apparel to symbolize his speed. And his striking tiger striped car is another striking feature of his look. Hudson, sometimes referred to as the Belltown Hellcat, has angered locals and the Seattle police, who have had little luck in apprehending him. However, Hudson's reckless habit is now being fueled by his internet fame as he keeps making more dramatic films of himself wrecking through the downtown skyline. Hudson doesn't seem to be planning to slow down either. The problem seems to have surfaced at the beginning of the year when police pulled over Hudson one January night shortly before two in the morning. On that particular occasion, the car was exceedingly loud, similar to the decibels of gunshots or fireworks. The officer warned him verbally. Hudson was accused with two charges of careless driving in March. Although he didn't get stopped that time, footage that he uploaded to Instagram showed him racing another Dodge Charger in a zone with a 25 miles per hour speed limit, reaching up to 107 miles per hour. Whether I'm traveling at 10 or 200 miles per hour, the automobile is noisy. It's a muscle car, so it will be loud no matter what, Hudson told the Seattle Times. Now that the city is taking matters seriously, it has filed a lawsuit against Hudson, threatening to fine him $83,200. After receiving a notice of violation for the excessive noise and in order to remove the car's unlawful exhaust system, the court has ordered Hudson to stop driving the Charger. Hudson feels that his race is the reason behind the targeting of him. There are far more serious problems than a black man driving a fancy car and making noise once in a while, he remarked. The city attorney claims that Hudson intentionally keeps people awake by flaunting the loudness of his charger on Instagram. By blatantly breaking Seattle's laws and waking his neighbors with excessive noise, Mr. Hudson has cultivated online infamy. He needs to take responsibility for his conduct now. That's the reason, according to city attorney and Davison. I have asked the court to find Mr. Hudson in default and award the city all applicable penalties. According to court documents, Hudson was required to provide documentation proving he had modified his car's exhaust system to reduce noise levels. He faces fines of $1,300 for each day his car is not fixed. According to the city attorney's statement, Mr. Hudson has failed to remove the illegal modifications or address the excessive noise in the two months since that notice of violation. In addition to speeding, Seattle police also noted that Hudson had received four violations and that frustrated residents had often complained about his speed and noise, as Hudson's antics kept them up at night. An exceedingly loud noise was produced when the exhaust of the charger was purposefully modified to backfire illegally, according to a Seattle police officer with experience as a mechanic. According to the lawsuit, the charger's Hemi engine has a unique exhaust note. The Hemi exhaust note changes and the noise level increases when the mufflers are removed or modified. Additionally, the engine features a control module for which it is possible to modify the software code to cause a string of backfires when the throttle is changed. This audible disturbance made it self-evident that the vehicle was under wide open throttle, with the driver utilizing the maximum performance of the engine in the downtown corridor. The officer with specialized vehicle expertise wrote, As the car got closer to my locations, the noise would only get louder. The officer reported that eventually, the same charger would appear, driving at extremely high speeds, running traffic lights, and making unsafe lane changes as it drove by. One of the locals came up to me and said he lived nearby and asked if I could hear. The Hellcat, which is the Hudson's Charger edition. I confirmed that I heard the car. He continued by saying that he and the other residents were absolutely sick of it, because the owner of the car was doing this on a regular basis. 
He talked about the special features of Hudson's car and said that the police had to do something. Upon his eventual halt by the police, Hudson made it abundantly evident that he had no plans to stop. I wound up speaking with him for a long time, which I recorded on my body-worn camera. I questioned Hudson about why he didn't just use his car at a racetrack. The policeman revealed that he had almost 700,000 followers on social media and that the money he makes from recording videos of himself driving around on the street had paid for the automobile. I will continue to do what I am doing. I'm going to turn this into my career. To the officer, Hudson said, I feel like I'm doing my thing, he remarked, without intending to offend. The car has paid for itself, and I've made it my career. 650,000 fans. However, locals are incensed and demand that Seattle police adopt a more forceful stance. People's lives are in danger if he is speeding downtown at 107 miles per hour. Why do we still have to wait? For him to murder a person? In Como, Chris Allen said, I actually thought I heard gunshots when I woke up in the middle of the night, but it was just Miles Hudson driving by in his charger. Nevertheless, the business is still operational and profitable for Hudson. Allen continued, He's affecting thousands of people down here. Online, his actions are becoming more and more annoying to his fans. Miles embodies the quintessential characteristics of a severe narcissist and psychopath. Like a career criminal or serial killer, he suffers from a mental disorder that makes him care nothing for other people. One user said, It's alarming that someone with such low integrity could make others feel so uncomfortable and have no empathy at all. Another Instagram follower said, Your tires would be knifed all the time if I lived in Seattle. Hey, that's not even your car your mom's. Such a child, incapable of even taking care of himself, of owning his own life and automobiles. One more person wrote, Grow up, little kid. On June 12, Hudson is expected to appear in court on allegations of reckless driving. On June 18, there will be a hearing in the city's case against him. 